What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today we're going back to Powerhouse Gym in Torrance, California and we're going to be doing some squats, a leg day. You could call it a full day of squatting. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got some squats and various accessory movements. So hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you at the gym. Alright guys, this is my first set of the day. As you can see, we are in a high bar squat position, got 135 on the bar. And the goal here is just to pump as much blood as possible into all of the muscles involved in the squat. Quads, hams, glutes, um, adductors, just get everything feeling good. I like to do a lot of reps so I can really get a good sweat going and feel confident that everything is going to be responding the way it should be as I get a little bit heavier. So I just finished a set of 185 with the squat and my quad pump is fucking unreal already and we're only three warm up sets in. You gotta go to 315. doubles and triples for my actual strength work. So let's go.
Sí. <risa> Second set of 315. This one I had to film on my own. I only intermittently had help with the camera with one of my homies from the gym. So this one's a little bit different angle. As you can still see, three clean reps. Okay, so I finished my strength work with 315 in two sets of three, and now we are got 275 on the bar, and I'm gonna hit three sets of six to eight to ten. Hopefully, I don't fucking know, but we'll see. Volume work, hypertrophy, yay. Controlled eccentric, really smash the hamstrings. So, because we're not training grip right now, I'm gonna, I got straps. So I'll put these around my wrists and it'll assist with holding the bar in place so I can get a couple more reps and really isolate the hamstrings rather than make this a grip workout.
Alright guys, so this is my third set of RDLs, and I know I said before that my grip was the limiting factor on these sets, but I this set goes to show that really wasn't the case. I was actually just fatigued from a more central kind of way. I ended up only getting six reps on here, pretty much the same as the first set. I guess it's not horrible because typically you do see a drop in performance uh, set to set. So 6-7-6 six, six wasn't too bad in getting these reps in, and especially after doing moderately heavy squats. I wouldn't say it was super heavy, but definitely got up into that 80-85% range with that 315. So yeah, it's a pretty good set. Slow and controlled. Definitely my favorite way to do RDLs, really emphasizing the stretch and the hamstrings, and not really just forcing weight up and having unnecessary injury risk. So there it is. Okay, so after the RDLs, I decided to do dumbbell Bulgarian split squats. These are one of my favorite exercises, especially because it's a one-legged at a time. It's a unilateral exercise, so you're kind of hitting the leg in a different way than you normally do with bilateral movements like squats, leg press, etc. And you're getting a really good grip workout holding the dumbbells. A lot of stabilization is involved. and I find that I'm always the strongest when I'm doing Bulgarian split squats, so I've d recently decided to reincorporate them into my programming. Okay, this is my fourth set of Bulgarian split squats. I know I only filmed two of them, but just due to the lack of space in this area of the gym, it was only I was only able to film two of the sets. Right here I have the 80 pound dumbbells. I believe I go for around four to five reps. These ones are pretty difficult. I underestimated for sure how, mu how much harder it was with this amount of weight dumbbells compared to barbells the dumbbells definitely I've definitely felt way more taxed centrally from these sets as compared to when I was doing 135 with the barbell I know this is 160 but I still think even with 160 I'd be able to crank it out with the barbell a little bit easier so yeah I hit both legs and then this was the last set before we moved on to our last movement of the day. As you guys just saw, once I got to the right leg, I was struggling a lot just to gain my balance. I believe it took me four tries just to get my foot on the bench, and then after the first two reps, I think I fall off again. Let's see. Three, and boom. Yep, there it is. I don't know what it was, but this, this set was just a shit show. It wasn't working. Okay, so this is my last exercise of the day. The GHD hamstring curl. It's similar to a Nordic curl, but since the knees are a little bit down on the pad, as you can see, it's not a full Nordic curl. I was able to get 10 reps here. Um, but as you'll see in the next clip, this was the only set I was actually able to do of this exercise. I don't know what it was, maybe the RDLs, but after this set, I was my hamstrings were completely done. Um, so I ended up just finishing the workout with some lying hamstring curls, but This is probably my favorite hamstring curl of all time. It is so difficult. I love it Okay, now you get to see some of my failed attempts of my Failed last set so I set up on it and I get like halfway there. Nope doesn't work. Let's try again Oop nope it is crazy how you can perform so well on the first set and then I rested four and a half minutes actually or maybe four minutes or something and just nothing I had nothing left in the tank um, so that's gonna be the end of the video guys if you enjoyed it please li leave a like subscribe comment share I'd appreciate um, all of those things and yeah have a good day